Hey guys, it's Namo at Toronto Auto Workers. Today I'm going to showcase this 2016 Dodge Charger SRT. So first we're going to start off at the front. It's got these beautiful two red eye LED lights that really bright up, show nice bright lights on it. It's got a massive grill. Just normal for the American muscle cars, it's always been like that. They also have this nice air grills for the radiator, which really helps it cool it down. So another key feature is this little slit here. Some of you might be wondering what it's for. It's actually for the air. It lets it, the air go right to the air intake right there. Keeps it nice and cool when the engine warms up. And then another key feature is this slit right here for the hood. A little bit more air going into the engine which is keeping it cool. And then it has these little two scoops on the, on, the, on the hood as well. Not just for cosmetics, it actually does serve a purpose. The heat does escape from here, which is a really cool feature. So let's take a look at the side guys, come on with me. So one key feature about these cars, we all know, is the crazy looking Hellcat right there. That's a really cool feature. One cool feature about this car, it actually has a square setup at 275 on the front and the rear, which is, Pretty crazy, but I guess for this kind of power, you need that kind of control. This car is very sleek looking. It's got a very narrow window area. Makes it a little bit hard to see, I'm not gonna lie, especially when you're driving and you're trying to look through your blind spot. Makes it hard to see through this little window, but you know, you gotta make it appeasing to look at at least. And it has these nice little mirrors, which is really cool. As we're gonna go, we're gonna move our way back to the rear end. Here we got this nice spoiler which is actually standard with it. And it has a camera hooked up right into the spoiler, which is pretty cool. Gives it a really nice range of what you're seeing. It does come equipped with two exhaust pipes, just single ones stretching on each side. So we all know American muscle cars are very big. They're always known for their trunk space. Let's check out the trunk. Check it out. Look how much stuff is already packed into this trunk. And there's still a lot of space to fit more. You can move with this car. You can fit anything you want in this car. You play hockey, put your sticks in. You go skiing, put them in. Whatever you want, stick it in there. Let's go. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys the interior. Usually American cars aren't known for their interior, but this one has pretty sweet interior. Let's check it out. This interior is very nice. It's got this nice saddle leather inside. It also has a little bit of carbon fiber going on to the center console here, and also over here as well. One key feature, American cars always have is the big space in them. They're made for Americans, we know. We got you. But I really wanna show you guys is the size in comparison. I'm 5'10", I feel pretty well, pretty well here, but let's see how I do in the rear. So unfortunately this doesn't have like the Beamers and the Mercedes, the seat doesn't roll up. So we're just gonna to try to get in there the way it is. All right, let's see how we looks. So surprisingly, it actually has quite a bit of space. I'm surprised. From when you've seen it from the outside, it actually looks very tiny. My head is clear, no problem. My knees are touching the back end of it, but for a long drive, no good. But for a quick little drive, it would be pretty fun. So now comes the fun part, trying to get out of this one. We made it. All right, so let's see what this baby has under the hood. We all know American cars are about their muscle, so let's see what kind of muscle she's holding. Look at that. It's a 6.2 liter, 707 horsepower, 650 pound-feet of torque. This baby goes. It's the same size motor as the older version C63, but this one's supercharged. The other one's naturally aspirated. Dominic Toretto would definitely approve of this one. Let's go, Dom. All right, now the moment everybody's been waiting for. Let's hear this thing. Oh, yeah. So if you guys are interested in American muscle, come check us out. TronAutoBurgers.com. And like always, don't forget to subscribe.